Let me explain about that spiritual home bit. You see, I'm from Wolverhampton. A bit awkward. But yeah, we're good. <laughs> but yeah, um, a little intro. So hi, my name is Mickey, and yes, I'm your next open mic. Um, it's great to be here. Um, it's a really good place. Really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, and I'm really excited to see Leon later on tonight. He's one of my oldest friends in poetry, which is mad. And if you haven't bought his book, please do. It's a really good book. And if you want, there's also other copies by the Poetry Press. You got, you got, oh, and a swingler, salad, from in the core. All of these hands. Can, can I take you everywhere? <laughs> <laughs> Within reason. <laughs> but anyway, so the poem that I have got, well, two poems actually I've got. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, so the first poem that I'll do, um, most of the stuff that I do poetry-wise, it is revolved around mental health. Now my mental health, like, you know, others, is a bit... varies, it changes most of the time. And it depends on the day that I'm happy. And so the first poem that I will do, um, is about my, um, well, I saw this meme on social media. Um, about a pumpkin sitting in a pumpkin house, and I decided to evolve that around depression. As you do. So the first poem is called Depressive Habitat and Trigger Warning, it's related to mental health and suicide. A human man sits in a human house. Is it made of house, or is the house made of flesh? He screams, for he doesn't know. Depression sits inside of a human chest. Is he made of hatred, or is the chest made of him? He cries, for he doesn't know. A bullet sits inside of a metal skull. Is the bullet made of blood, or is the skull made of him? It cries, for it knows. A soulless man sits in a house made of souls. Is he made of neglect, or is the house made of those he failed? He cries. He knows. A bullet sits in a skull made of bones and ketchup. Is he made of rage, or is the skull made by him? It doesn't cry. Instead it weeps, for it knows that its purpose is fulfilled. Thank you. Um, the, 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 my um, second and last one is my newest one. Finally, we're in some new shit. Um, and if you like what you hear, I am on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube, all under the same name, Mickey Ali, um, as well as. Um, if you tend to go on a website called SoundCloud, my friend Aaron Broomfield. He has his own um, poetry podcast called Poetry's Wood. I'm on the recent episode, which was just released today. So that's fun. But yeah, um, if you want to speak to me about that, speak to me about words and I can get you all... On the podcast. No. <laughs> <laughs> all up to date. But yeah, um, this poem is called Poetic Reveal. A little context um, backstory, if that makes sense. <laughs> um... Recently, around the first Friday of this month, yeah, was International Women's Day. Um, and that actually marked a one year anniversary when I. Spoilers. You'll find that the ad day in this poem. It's called Poetic Reveal. Dear world, hi, this is Mickey Yali here, and I want to say thanks for everything you've given me, both good and bad so far. I want to get something off of my chest. You see, for the past year or so, I've been questioning my purpose in my life. My questions like, why have I always got great clothes on at my events? Or something like, why do I always wear a hat to my events? But even more questions like, why am I here? Why do I use a cracked screen on my iPhone? <laughs> With a giant gash here. <laughs> 
but I want something else off my chest. I've been like this since last year, specifically on International Women's Day. But I've been hesitant to tell anyone. But I believe that the time has come and I hope the rest of the world understands my wishes. And before you ask, I've told my family and they all understand. My brother, despite being old, about one year he gave me a hug and he thanked me for telling me. And my mom was a bit confused at first and after that I gave some counselling and she understood my wishes. But I'm coming as non-binary and I just hope that the rest of the world understands. Thank you for listening. Um, Sincerely yours, uh, Mickey Ali, aka the Volvo Wonder. Uh, uh, P.S. Oh yeah. Thanks for listening. <laughs> <laughs>